Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray Love and I'm back with another mukbang edition. And I'm back with my friend Milica. Hi, we just realized we didn't do a thumbnail. We didn't? No. Oh, we just jumped okay. right into the mukbang. We'll be right back. We hungry. Hold on a second. Alright y'all, we back. We did a thumbnail. Listen, we racing against time. If it's your first time here, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And somebody is always doing something. Literally just started playing music. <sighs> we literally. really like this neighbor. She's our people. Yeah. But Damn girl, I'm trying to record. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's say our prayers we eat. Heavenly Father, one, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. In Jesus' name always, amen. Amen. Make sure you are following the entire gang. Their names are gonna be somewhere up here. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. We had a good time on TikTok last night. I typically go over, there, go over there when I'm having like a little drink with you guys and I want to play my music. And make sure you follow me on Facebook. All right, today I have something very special. I have B Love's new Smackalicious sauce with a little lemon rain. <laughs> so we got it. Listen, the first time she took it out, the first time she put it out, uh -huh. I was so yes. mad. You were. I missed it. You were. I was so angry. But I was on it this time. I mean, I was on it, B. Literally. Okay? We was on it. So we got it, and we're going to give a real oh, honest yes. review. All right, the first thing I know, if y'all hear music in the back, that's just how it is. Sometimes it's real funny over here. You get pranks over here. You get mukbangs. And sometimes it's a little ghetto. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you heard it. All right, and it's, it's not my fault. All right. So this, okay, I see that this is minced okay so i want to say the garlic and everything y'all i don't know if y'all can get a good look at that it's minced so you don't have to add anything this came in the jar and i'm really excited to taste yes. it because it's her way a lot of time we doing it at home and you don't know yeah so i'm so see. excited ready you're not ready yet come on girl i don't know what the fuck i was doing bullshit with that girl in her time we ready we excited all right Mm -hmm. I taste the lemon. Ooh. Melissa's not a spicy girl. I did get it spicy because I had to give B Loves the original, like the way she, like, you know. Make it at home. Right. It's good. I'm going to try it with the sausage. Y'all. I've been literally poured it on a few potatoes. I was not playing. You know what? Ooh. Now Melissa dropping things in the um. <laughs> I dropped the potato. Um, I taste the lemon. Yeah, I taste the lemon too. I definitely do. Mmm. Um, I have some lemon color, but I didn't use it because I wanted to see if I needed it, and honestly, it really wouldn't. No. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Let's try it with the corn. It's spicy to you. I got I got some regular butter sauce back here. Because I know Melissa with the spice. It's hot to you like that? Now, is it the same when I make her packet at home? Like when I make it a spicy packet, do you feel like it's spicy or? Mm, this is going to sound weird. It's spicy on a different part of my tongue. Like It's sweeter. It is sweeter. When you make it spicy, I feel like here and in the front, her spice is like in the back and it's sweeter. Y'all, like, it's um, a little sweeter to me than I don't when know if you it's make a it Coke or something. Yeah. Something in it is making it sweeter. Mm. It's good. It is good. If it look different, y'all turn my light down. Wow, mm. Okay. Good. It is spicy, y'all. Mm -hmm. Then we make it with the salt packet. Mm -hmm. Listen, I can't say that must be following directions well. You do. Because it, it is tasting. Different than when you make it. Right. It is it is tasting good. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're saying, basically. Oh, yes. You know I what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And it tastes like a total different thing. Oh, no. Just a little. Um, Yours is a little less sweet and a little less spicy. Oh, yes. Your, your spoon is about to drop. I'm holding it up. There we go. It's um spicier and sweeter. Which is funny. And got the lemon in it already. Because you would think that if it's spicier or sweeter, it wouldn't be both at the same time. But it is. Mm-hmm. But it's good. It's it spicy. Is. Okay, it's hit me now. Yep, in the back of the throat. Back okay, B. Back of the throat. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Yeah. You all right today? <laughs> Just a lot of things dropping back. 
Y'all, if y'all want this sauce, it's gonna be in my description box along with her channel. If you don't know who she is and you're watching me, then that got to be insane. You feel what I'm saying? She is the queen of mukbanging, and that's just the damn truth. I personally <coughs> used to watch her before I ever did a video. Along with her family and the Batty Twins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, check her out if you haven't already. If you want to see somebody eat some crab legs. Okay. <laughs> right. Eat the bleep out some crab legs. Mm, but this is good, B. We proud of you. You inspire mm -hmm. a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And your girl is getting checks on YouTube because of you. That's right. That's some deep shit to say. Beautiful. That you've inspired somebody and they made a career out of it as well. That's crazy. Ooh, that that it, it's hot now. <laughs> I want to take off my hoodie. <laughs> uh huh. I don't even know why you wore it's it. It's hot. I'm trying to tell you. I probably wore something. I knew I was gonna throw in the wash anyway. Cause it's seafood boy, y'all get all over. I swear to God, I should have brought another cup of water. My nose is running. My now we ain't gonna eat all this food, y'all. There ain't no way. I'm just letting you know. I'm gonna try my very level best. <laughs> I'm not. We're going to have leftovers. I know you, you're going to have leftovers. You talking that shit. Mm -hmm. Look at these, y'all. Um, because I'm hungry right now. These are some big suckers. These are snow crab legs. It's my favorite um crab. Boy. Now, I had a, a king crab one time, yeah. but I don't think it was done right. Yo, my mouth is hot as hell. I'm trying to tell you. I keep drinking mad water. It's good, though. Please. It's really good. That lemon Cause is Because it's good. like you can't stop eating it. Right. And this is the spicy one. So, you know, what, what, what do we want out for. of it? Mm -hmm. right. This is just some regular butter. Mmm. That's good. Ooh. Mm-hmm. We have a topic because um, somebody wrote me. Y'all know I do release it to Ray. Go to release it to Ray at gmail.com. If you have something you want to ask me or Melissa, not personally, like about your life. Yeah. You want advice on something. Yep. You want to share something. Yep. You want her supporters to give you advice too. Right. And be nice with the with the advice, y'all. Don't be doing that with somebody writing. <laughs> um, I was so excited to um to film with the source. I feel like I'm off with what I normally do and how I speak. You are. <laughs> She really is. It was, but I finally put the gang first. I usually do that at the you end. Do. You did, you did. But you were so excited. We've been waiting. We've been waiting. Let me tell y'all how this sauce came right quick before mm -hmm. I even get into. That sauce came fast. Now I just seen a video a little while ago too of her saying they was working. She broke her nails because they was packing. They oh, was yeah. working. And I'm gonna tell you something. They was because. That sauce came fast as hell. Yes. You don't wait. There is no. no, it's not a crazy wait. No. I just ordered it. Literally, like a few days ago. Right. And we had it for a day. Yep. Before I'm even recording it. So, B, you know what you're doing? That sauce comes fast. Look at this. Ah. Uh. Last time y'all was mad at me because I kept going to this side because I have a bag here. They was tight like, Ray, let me put the bag in front of me. Mm -hmm. They was tight like, we, why, why did you eat an off camera, Kaka? <laughs> oh, no, that's a no-no. So, anyway. So, I do have Release It to Ray, y'all. Flood my um, Release It to Ray Gmail with issues or anything like that you want to hear our advice on. Or things you want to, topics you want us to discuss. That's mm -hmm. a good way to it. Oh, yeah. It's not about you. That's true. Um, y'all know y'all can send me prank ideas at um my at my IG and Melitza's. Go ahead, let them know where you can send you your can prank send ideas. You can send me prank ideas at teammelitza at gmail dot com. That's T E A M M E L I T Z A at gmail dot com. Team Melitza, y'all are gonna be disappointed because <laughs> right at the wrong time. <laughs> Cause she can't give it up like Team Ray, so whatever. <laughs> y'all put invest y'all love her if you want to, but it ain't gonna happen. Rule for the underdog. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, but you've been you've been doing your thing, thing. It's funny, funny. I'm just getting better and better at these pranks. I'm starting to get a little scared. Don't be scared. Not yet. This is good. 
I um, love when we have seafood balls. All right, so. Is it, is it on? It's always on. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Guys, I'm putting the shells in here, so you know. Yeah, she got them all. But y'all watching me eat it. I'm drinking salsa water. Yeah, I saw the cup of water. I've already touched it like six times. And here's my seltzer. I got a little bit of ginger ale left. Y'all, my stomach was not the same ever since I had that flying Dutchman. It's crazy, but it's true. And we've had all different kinds of food since I then. really don't understand it because I eat onion all the time. And excessive amounts. You know what I'm saying? Now, next time when I get this, I'm going to saute some onion pussy. Because it's something about them long pieces of onion. You feel me? Yes. That I really love when I eat You can pile them up on top of the right. thing. But you can taste all of it here because... It's in there. Mm-hmm. It's good. Um, I keep having to go back and forth because my tongue is on fire. Uh -huh. That lemon come through. It does. But yeah, okay. So somebody sent me this topic, but they sent it to me on Facebook. And I've been meaning to... um address them i don't know if they want to be remain anonymous i, I forgot to ask but when you said to me i don't think there's way. any name yeah right no because you can't see the full thread yeah exactly so I so i'm just gonna keep it that way okay yeah it's a motivator so y'all know how i feel about my motivators mm. wait y'all let me just open this this one is hard to open now, I'm, I gotta try me king crab, but I'm gonna order it from like those places because if you get it over here. One time B Love has said where she gets hers from, and I still get emails from them. You do? Yo, dumb joints are big, but I wonder if they're as sweet as a snow crab. I think. The snow crab got a certain amount of. Melissa is struggling. Well, I am in drop a, something else. <laughs> I, am in, I am channeling my old self. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I was always very clumsy. Right, I got you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, man, let's see y'all over there. Flick this pot, pop, fucking, oh, potato coming at me over here. <laughs> Shrimp smack me in my, I'm like, what is going on over there? This is right here is like a bond shell. <laughs> she happy. I'm so happy. It's hot as hell out of nowhere. That's them hot flashes. Mm. Alright, so you want to read the um Yeah <laughs> She's like, no, I want to eat I feel you, but we got to read it Mmm My cousin said something to me today like what? When you were over 40 At a job She was talking about this job She was like, no, because mm -hmm. um, you could say it's ageism I was like, damn, over 40 is ageism Because I'm 40 years old, y'all I'm like, when did that happen? I don't know, but that's when you grow much older. And I said that, I see on the applications, it, it, it be stopping at 40. Mm -hmm. Like, are you from this to this and then stop at 40? What the hell? <laughs> I don't have time for it, y'all. I'm gonna be 41 years old. I got time to feel like, uh, now I'm a geriatric patient? That's what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> Far from it. You ready You got that topic? I'm coming yeah. right now that my hand, there's nothing in my hands. I gotta get this quick. <laughs> you gotta read that. Man, it's long. This is good. <clears throat> Sometimes you just crave the crab, man. <laughs> collard greens, crab and collard greens. Crave the crab. I wish they went together. So where do I begin? <clears throat> My wife and I have been together six years, married two and a half, and the struggle has been real. There's major trust issues on my end. She mm -hmm. came from a background of infidelity and running through people. And I knew the risk when I was taking when I met her, but it felt so natural and undeniable. From day one, I told her I understood that this was a transition and she may struggle with temptation but not to play with me or my boy's hearts. We have been walking in faith or trying to at least, excuse me, there's such a disconnect. I'm 40 years old, my wife is 43, and I have never been disloyal in any relationship. Okay. Although I do understand that there's a lot of trauma resurfacing from my childhood. My father was very much so the exact same way as my mother, almost their entire marriage of 46 years. I have no solid proof, but a feeling that I am unable to shake. I know, I know, can't assume or hold her hostage, but man, what do I do? There's been no intimacy, barely any affection, nothing but straight arguments. She's mm. an avoidant type person where I'm more keep it a buck and we'll figure this shit out. 
She says nothing is going on and everything else stopped because of the arguments and the accusations. Mm. Says I'm holding her hostage of, of on her past and she has she's no longer that person. Mm. She's lied to me in the past couple of years, back a couple of years back, and put it on my kids as I have proof. Something stupid and minor, of course, but it makes me think, why would you why would you own anything serious? I think why would you own up? To mm -hmm. serious, maybe? Would, like, would you? Yeah. If you lied about something stupid? Yeah. She works out of home as we both work together from home the last three years together. Her past MO is a new job, new bitch. That's what I say, at least. That's her pattern. Now she works, texts me when she gets there safe, calls me on lunch, calls me on the ride home, and her checks are direct deposited to my account, being that I handle all the finances. Okay. Comes home after work. Yep, I get it. Sounds crazy. When and where, right? Well, where there's a will, there's a way. We also met on the job and she was in a relationship when they met. Please help. I'm losing hope and I don't want to walk away if it's me in my headspace. My boys do love the shit out of her as I do, but my 75, my 76 year old mother lives with us as well and she is experiencing all this. She always tells me, along with my best friend who has been an advocate for both of us and been so partial that they don't believe that she is cheating. I'm just at a loss. Part of me wants to believe she wouldn't be here if this isn't where she wants to wholeheartedly be. But I've carried us for six years. And now that I'm struggling and shit got heavy, she's MIA. <clears throat> it feels. It feels like she's Miss MIA. She always says, I don't know how to fix you. I don't know what more to do. There's no lock on her phone, but some little funny shit from time to time that just don't add up. All right. Take it home, Millie. What's your, what's your first advice to her? And then I'll give you mine. Um, we're just gonna call you ma'am. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna disclose your name. Um I honestly don't know because I don't know you guys personally. It sounds like um you do have a lot of baggage when it comes to like infidelity and things like that. And it's easy to like put that on our partners. Also, um, it kind of seems like you guys met on the job and she was in a relationship. So she may have like cheated with you or there was an indiscretion with you. And that could also add to you feeling like she would do it to you. Because if you guys did it together. Um, it is valid that when there's a lot of arguing, people don't feel very amorous. You know? She what, could, what, 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 talk, what does that mean? <clears throat> oh, like loving. Or like, 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 sorry, like affection. <laughs> like showing affection or being very loving. Like if there's a lot of argument and things like that, people are not going to be in the mood, you know, to do certain things. That could bring people apart, a lot of arguing. All Especially right. if it's a lot of the same kind of arguing. And she may feel like she said, I don't know how to fix it. She may feel like there's no like end to it because you're always going to feel that way. So I think my question to you would be um, for yourself, because let's say she's not cheating. You could ruin this. Um, but let's say she is, God forbid. It's still you still have a lot of um, like I said, unresolved issues, like you said, from your parents. I don't know. Are you in therapy for it? Have you gone to therapy for it? Would you consider that? Would you guys consider, since you guys are married, would you consider couples therapy? You're what? You're married. You can go to couples counseling, go to marriage counseling. Okay. I'm going to be 100% with you, okay? I don't know you, but believe me, this is coming from love. Stop what you're doing before you lose your wife. Boom. Okay. A lot of times when people are married and are in situations where they know the person just can't get up and go, we could take advantage of that. Until you find something or see something, leave it alone. Because I think what's now happening is she's put off by you. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to sleep with someone that they, you just feel like they always think you're doing something wrong. Because mm -hmm. wouldn't that be wrong? Or think the worst of you. Right. So... Stop what you're doing before you lose the relationship. Because once you lose it, it, it's gone. At least that's the type of person I am. I don't know how your wife is, but when it's done, it's done. I can revisit. You know, I'm kind of like that. If I went to jail, I'm watching Orange is the New Black Guys, so all my metaphors are going to come from there. <laughs> if I went to jail while I'm in there, I'm in there. But once I get out, um, I may come back and visit. But I'm not going to stay. You understand? So I feel like you guys have a good relationship. Stop what you're doing because... Reason why, also, I, I heard Melissa say and I touched on therapy, but this is not a couple therapy thing. This is a you thing. That is true. Because yeah. you're going to feel that way, I feel like, that because of your childhood, no matter what. That's true. So we need to figure out why 
we're not settled enough that what you see is what you get is not enough. You have to find out Something. what she's doing because that's yeah. what it sounds like. Because you're so telling funny. me yeah. there is nothing. And also, yes, she lied about something stupid. Obviously, it was stupid because you said like it was something small. Mm -hmm. And you questioned like, and would you lie about something big? You mean tell me you never lied in your life? They you never small. lied. <laughs> like, so you can't hold people sometime to this Jesus like mentality because we all are For human sure. and we all fall short and if you guys are falling in faith then you should be lifting each other up when you fall and not waiting for that other shooter job and not pushing that to happen. That's true. You should be lifting her up. That's true. Um and I knew by how you wrote when I read that, because I have read it before guys because she wrote it to me. Mm -hmm. Um that you are a sweet person. And that you really love your wife. I even saw your profile pic, I was being a little nosy. And I saw y'all together, and I think it's it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you to stop what you're doing. Because then you'll be writing me a year from now saying, this is what happened, I can't get it back. You know what I mean? If you find something, go to hell. I don't care. I understand. Like, <laughs> for real, bring it on her. Even if you have to walk away. Let me say something, guys. You have to fight for relationships. I understand that. And I, I applaud that, okay? But when it ain't right, you don't got to fight for that. That don't make no damn sense to do. Mm -hmm. That you have to know what you're fighting for. Mm -hmm. And if it's part of your personality to be to not trust, that's not going to change tomorrow. You understand what I mean? You, do, you have to do the work on that, okay? So I would say, y'all, beautiful couple, if your mama and your best friend tell you, okay, Leave it alone. I'm not saying don't trust your gut feeling. But people mistake Ooh. anxiety for intuition. Yes. All the time. And you know, I heard something very good about it. It's that <clears throat> anxiety is felt in the chest and intuition is felt like in your gut. Like, like Right. But inside. even then, if you that yeah. type of person, you swear to God, you know. You're right. You think you know. You could be completely wrong. It could just be your intrusive thoughts. Which is usually brought on by anxiety. Yes. The worry that this will happen. Even if you did start your relationship any kind of way, yeah. that don't mean that's the way it's going to end. I know. I heard that. I heard that. That doesn't mean that in, in particular. Um, unless you're just a serial cheater. And are you always with people who have people? That's something to look into, too. That's true. Do you want to like break up people's relationships? Are you that type of person that you feel unworthy so you go for things that are not yours to begin with? Those are all things to think about of why you're bringing it into this relationship mm -hmm. is my point. I say, leave the damn girl alone. <laughs> Enjoy your your wife life. Dust off your best knee pads. Uh, and get the wife. I tell her, are you sorry? And let's get this popping. Now, if she do something that's really messed up, whoever you are, and you're missing out on a really good woman. But if she not, stop complaining. Just chillax for a minute. I mean, even the things you told me how she calling and, mm -hmm. and you're like, I know what you know these things already. Mm -hmm. You know, I can read, I can, I can hear from what you're writing that mm -hmm. you know this mm -hmm. may sound a little bit off. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. one time I was talking to my cousin. That's my dad's friend, y'all. My name is Teacher. Shout out to Teacher. And she made a valid point. Like some people don't want to be happy. You feel what I'm saying? They're so used mm -hmm. to chaos. Or someone letting them down that they create it. I'm telling you, don't create it in your home. If she's good to you and your boys, the money's flowing and going right to you. You know where she's at. Listen, until you find it. And I don't mean find, like, keep looking. I mean, what's done in the dark will always come to light. Exactly. You will find it if it's meant for you to. And you move accordingly. I ask you this. Has she ever been married before? It doesn't sound like it. Because mm -hmm. you said girlfriend. So maybe this is very serious for her. Mm -hmm. And maybe everything she's telling you is for real. Be happy. There's so many people don't have somebody to lay down with. A.K.A. me. <laughs> exactly. Enjoy that, your, that's why I said enjoy your wife life. You have a wife. It's have a beautiful family. Enjoy like, the I don't love. even like if I'm talking to a girl. Because I'm single now, y'all. So every now and then I let somebody y'all talk to them. I don't mind you asking me questions, but when I answer you and you be like, I don't believe that, I, I I cut you off. I don't have time for it. I think that's a trigger for me. Yeah. 
because it's been done to me. I really do think it's a trigger. I don't like that. Like, I'm a grown woman. Why do I have to lie to you for? Mm -hmm. People ask questions. I told you that the other day. Remember we you said did? that? People ask questions. Oh, you and Melissa live together. You, it doesn't matter what I say. Somebody always going to think so. Think what you want. Either you mess with me or you don't. I know what's going on. And I have my moments. And it ain't none of your damn business. <laughs> That's all I see it. Like, if I tell you something, believe it. Exactly. Do the same for her. That's what I think. Keep your woman. Yeah. God blessed you with one. Be happy. For real. If you keep thinking what could what could happen, who she could be with, you're missing out on time. Y'all chilling. Exactly. And the love that you could be giving and receiving. Right. Dust off them knee pads. You hear me? Put on some like this. Right. Do what needs to be done. Grandma lived there. Tell the grandma go watch a movie with the kids. Grandma tell her how to leave her alone. Exactly. Tell grandma, grandma like, please. Tell grandma go watch a movie with the kids somewhere. You know, bye. Enjoy your wife. Don't worry about it. You are enough. You are worthy of love. It's okay. Every time somebody loves you, it doesn't mean they have a different agenda. Mm -hmm. But like I said, even if she did, it's, that's not your fault. Mm -hmm. You don't have to feel like, dang, I should have found it. Dang, I should have. It's not your fault. Shit happens. Believe mm -hmm. me, it happens to the, wor the best of us and the worst of us. Mm -hmm. Happened to me. It's nothing you could do about it. And I've been on the other side. I've been that person. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta forgive yourself. Once you forgive yourself for certain things, nobody can take that away from you. So regardless of how y'all met, who cares? She mine now. That's how I would feel. I married her. Exactly. That's my advice to you. That was a good one. Thank you for entrusting us and being so vulnerable. Yes. And telling your story and wanting to hear what two absolute strangers have to say. <laughs> Single strangers at it because we don't even know. Right. <laughs> Girl, you right. should not be asking us. Right. No, you can't ask me what to do sure. in your relationship, but you damn sure can ask me how to not lose one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I know. Very true. Oh, that's good. This is good. B, you done did it again, girl. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> I gotta try now. She do got the garlic one. I think she sold out, y'all. She, I think she said she would. Was sold yeah, out. and I'm sure as hell putting mine to the freezer. So she sold out in a day. I think she said, which is amazing. I will have another um, video. Would you please? Thank you. I might add a little chicken stock to this one and, <laughs> and stretch it out. Try to stretch it. Out. I'm down. Right. <clears throat> Remember, y'all, when she do bring it back, this was at BeLovesLife.com. I think that's where I purchased it at. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I, I hear her say something about she may do it with Amazon again. Oh. But remember, it got to say, with Lemon Rain, that's the new one. Ooh. I'm proud of her. You can really be proud of people you never met before in your life. Mm -hmm. Really be rewarding. But honestly, B has always been very nice to me. She always supported my channel. Mm -hmm. You know, wrote back if you need something. Like, for real, for real. She cool people. Mm -hmm. And she deserves her blessings. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm going to eat this last one with y'all and then we're going to get out of y'all face. Okay. We're going to love. If this is your first time here, I actually do two things. All right? I ask you to hit the subscribe button and I ask you to check out my videos check out all the videos i have a lot of videos out there y'all all types of uh, genres pranks vlogs mukbangs a lot of mukbang muk pranks me getting on melissa's last ass nerve and her getting on my last nerve as well watch your back watch your front <laughs> Try it. <sighs> Make sure y'all check out my entire gang, okay? Make sure you check out the gang. Get lit with Bo. Yvonne Crazy Family, Vicky Braze. We have a lot of content together, apart. I mean, I think we got something for everybody. Y'all see that? Beautiful. Look at that. First mm. one I got all night. It is? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is good. I'll be fair for my life. I'm like extra sweet. All right, you ready to start so we can sign off? Is that your potato? No, potato. I'm just going to sign off. You can keep eating. Oh. I'm just, <laughs> oh, that's much better. 
All right. Until we eat B Love's Life's new sauce with that lemon rain in it, that has grown inside of you, spicy one that's killing Belitza. Until we give advice to beautiful people who share their stories with us. Until I come back when I'm pranking Melissa's ass because she think that she can't get got, but she can. <laughs> Until I make race 18, Melissa. Yeah, right. I will see you guys soon. Later. Oh, man. I oh. something for that ass. I'm full. How you have so much crab leg left? I don't know. Did you give me extra? Was you eating mine? No. How? You gave us exactly the same. Okay. Girl. I don't know. I was, I don't, I don't I was focusing down on, like that. I was focusing on the shrimp and the um potatoes first. Oh, I was busting it down now. You really was. I was, dude. Mm -hmm. Damn. And then we had I an intermission. <laughs> don't be talking about my intermission or camera. Fine, y'all. I had to use the bathroom right quick. It was serious. I couldn't hold it. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I couldn't not hold it. I know I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I know I didn't stop eating, right? <laughs> Must kept going. Actually, when I do sit down and put a clip in of you, it's like, while I'm not here, I'm going to stop. I got to use the bathroom. I want you to have to. Not outside. Ew. 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 A small one. I was screaming your name and see if I should turn off the camera, but I didn't want to stop eating. So I was like, Rachel! And I was eating. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Wait, is somebody calling? Somebody's missing a kitten in the neighborhood. A kid? A kitten. Oh. I'm like, what the f is that? It's the ring app, y'all. We don't be getting no um, Amber Alerts over here like that. Mm -mm. It was the ring. The neighborhood mm -hmm. thing. Eating crab legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> She's so fucking <laughs> <laughs> young. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just eat your food. <laughs> like I'm not. No! Back up. You can't do it back to me. Back up. Let Stop me rub work. your hand with it. No! Don't. I will fight you. <laughs> I washed my hands. Let me run my, fring, my claw through you. You gonna do this to me? <laughs> Tape it on the finger. <laughs> oh, that's <funny. laughs> why are you always choking. <laughs> okay, you okay? <coughs> oh my god, it's hot. Oh god, all right, y'all. Oh, this one happy love sauce on it. Let me get up out of here. Later. <laughs>